Hey there, it's me, Crystal, and I'm actually filming this book right after I got back from UtopiaCon 2017 and getting all these signed books from this year's con inspired me to make a video of all my signed books. I don't actually have that many signed books because I haven't met that many authors in person. So the very, very first book I ever got signed was this book by Teresa Meteros. So I didn't actually meet her. I got this at a used and new bookstore um, in Nashville. It is a historical romance. I think it's kind of like a western. Anyway, she was my favorite historical romance novelist back in the day when I was consuming these books like candy when I was like a 13, 14, 15. You guys, this book is from 1998. So this is a bookmark that I made for it. I used to make bookmarks for all my books. Um, Esmeralda down here. I think that's the main character. So this is the sticker that was on, on the front of the book. So of course I wanted to keep it. And this is actually the place where I got the book. And I was like, what are the odds of that? That I still have this old bookmark. This is a signature. It says Dare to Dream. And her name. As far as I know, the very next signed book I got was actually... The first time I went to UtopiaCon, which was in 2014, and the first book I got signed there was Sweet Requiem by Bailey Ardenson. This is book three in this series. She is super, super sweet. And so she signs it and dates it, which I thought was nice. This is a YA paranormal. So the next book I got signed, I don't actually remember what this book is about. I know it's about mermaids, and so I'm really surprised I haven't read it yet because it's, like, really thin. So I'm like, I'm just been in a slump when I got this book. But she also signs and dates it. And she was really, really nice. And I also got this book because it was super short. And this is the first in a trilogy, as far as I can tell. I don't remember what this is at, about at all. So I'm going to put both of these books on my more immediate TBR because I've had them for a little while. And they're just so short. So there's no reason not to bump them in front of some of the longer books. I think these are new adult paranormal romance. Also, I got this book, branded by Carrie Taylor. She did one of the panels that I went to, and she's super, super nice. So this is the inside. It says, never let the darkness in life define who you will become. And this is new adult paranormal romance. Uh, this next book is cool by Jennifer Albin. She did one of the keynotes that year, and uh, she is just one of the most awesome people ever. And I really liked what she said because it was really inspiring, and she talked about, like, protecting your writing time. You know, because she's like, she has to write to stay sane, and then that makes her a better mom and a better wife and a better friend. So it says, remember who you are. This is a young adult sci-fi. So before I get to the last book that I got signed at that conference, I did get three other books signed. I'm not going to talk about them because two of them I tried to read and, and didn't like. <laughs> uh, for different reasons and maybe one day I'll talk about like books that I didn't like but like not throw anybody under the bus. It's just, I started reading the books and I was like, I really, really don't like this. Um, one of them, it was just because it's like, I felt like the, the book was focusing on everything but the interesting plot point. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I read over a hundred pages. And usually when I read a book, when, usually once I get to the hundred page mark, I'm like going to finish that book. But I was like, uh, I can't do it. And the other one, I started to read it, and it didn't have, like, any, like, problems. It was just a very personal, like, thing about the book that I found to be really icky. <laughs> but it's about vampires, and I wanted to give it a chance, and I tried. And I'm like, I just, I can't stomach it. Because even though I knew going in, like, reading it for myself, it was just kind of like... I just couldn't do it. So... <laughs> And the other book I'm not going to talk about, the author was actually extremely ab abrasive. Like, I wanted to read the book, but then kind of like after meeting her, I'm kind of like, I don't know. But maybe she just has one of those faces where she just looks mean all the time. I still want to read the book, but maybe I have to wait until like I forget what it was like to meet her. So the last book I got signed was by C.J. Redwine. 
uh, Defiance, the first book and this trilogy. This is a YA fantasy and on the inside it says Dare to Defy. Okay, so now on to my pile of books from this year's UtopiaCon. I have this, the Lux prequel novella by Jennifer Armand Trott. I love this. The inside says, hey, kitten. She's, like, so awesome. She's my new favorite person. And then there's this book that I am a very, very excited about reading. It says, welcome to purgatory. Hello, yeah. So in this, this book, this has multiple signatures. So I got this signed by all the authors except for one, uh, Kimberly Cadu. She either didn't have a booth or she wasn't there. So a couple of the authors signed their actual story. Her and her. Um, the rest of them are on this front page and all of these people like left little notes. I talked to a couple of these authors beforehand, Amy and Mindy, and they were both really cool. And S.E. was giving away these, like, door tags, which I thought was really, really cool. And one side says it's safe, and the other side says, shh, do not disturb. So this is the coloring book that I got, and a T is on the inside of the coloring book. So I can say I have a signed coloring book, which is very exciting to me for some reason. I think I said in the previous video that this, that, um, these series of, like, little, um, kind of booklet books... I think I previously said that there were 12. Um, there's a whole lot more than 12. <laughs> but I got this book plate. And then Tia signed this one. Enter an exciting new world. And this anthology, I got signed by everybody except for one author because she wasn't there. And that was really, really exciting. So there are eight authors included and I got seven signatures. Some of them signed their stories. I don't know um, which authors signed their stories and which didn't. Because I wasn't paying uh, attention to where they were signing. But this is the main page that I have and that's exciting. I know Tia signed her story. So I found that and that's this one. So this doesn't have a table of contents, but I do love how each story has like their own front page. And I have been devouring anthologies lately, probably because I think they'll be quicker to read, even though they take just as long as a normal book. But there's something so satisfying about knocking stories out, so I'll be reading this soon. So I got these, signed by Jasmine Walt. And this, because why not get both of your books signed if you can? And so I got this, The Shadow Queen. It's a step out of the shadows. This one says, Face Your Fears. Oh, I love all these. <laughs> this one says, Never Lose Hope. So I want to show you the inside of this um, book right quick. Like, isn't that gorgeous? There's like a map. I love stuff like this. Ooh, this one's good. This says Courage Leaves Scars. I know, right? So, I know with my book haul, I showed all the books, but this is a lot of books. So, I'm going to try to hold them up in front of the camera. That, or I'll just, like, move the camera. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a CJ Redwine fan. I know she lives in Tennessee somewhere. <laughs> for today. I will see you later. Bye.